driving over to the snow hill. You're going to yeah. wait until after the snow event and maybe get that snow in once it stops, but it's going to be a while before we can do that. We do expect a big major winter storm for you. We've got yeah, mix of ice and snow, freezing temperatures and notice winter storm warnings are up. If you have just joined us from watching earlier this afternoon, everyone was under a watch earlier. We've not gone to a warning for Wilkesboro, Galax, Mount Airy, Concord, all the way through Charlotte. We're expecting significant snowfall, mainly over the mountains and western foothills. And then as you get closer to the eastern foothills, we may see sleet snow mixing in and then a lot of icy conditions developing for folks in the southern Piedmont. That includes parts of Alamance County. So south of 85, we really think that it could be more of an ice event and to the east, even some parts of Greensboro, Guilford County as we lift you north could see more of the freezing rain and that could cause more widespread power outages. In addition, we've got the wind that we have to contend with too. 31 degrees in Reedsville, 36 in Greensboro right now, as well as Winston Salem and we're seeing that cold air rush in. So we were in the 50s earlier today. We've got 20s on the way, so new colder air mass. You're looking at the snow here. Yeah, this is up in Iowa. We're going to be actually tapping into a little bit more Gulf moisture, wrapping in some warmer air around our low potentially and drawing that in from the coast. And that could change our setup quite a bit. And so we're looking right now 24 degrees in the mountains tomorrow morning, 35 for afternoon highs and even a few flurries. Some snow showers may develop for us earlier in the afternoon to early evening. So this could be the little, uh, you know, storm before the storm. I guess you could say a little hint of snow ahead of the system before the main one. 28 degrees early morning in the foothills to near 38 degrees, a rain chance and a snow chance of about 20%. Most of this should be some flurry action. Light totals possible, especially west, but 29 degrees in the tri to 39 and an easterly breeze at about seven miles an hour. So here's one of the setups. You can see here we're going to have some showery action to start until those temperatures really continue to cool into the 20s, mainly down to the south. And so the storm system developing out of Georgia heading into South Carolina could bring in first sleet and snow for us, mainly that sleet mix over areas of Charlotte, possibly freezing rain later in the day. But right now we think that that snow falls first and then we start to see some sleet trying to mix in. How much and where that line really ends up is the question. Some of our models, this is our European model, suggesting that could mix in as far west as the foothills and possibly a little bit nudging into the mountains. But then that low as it tracks east starts to wrap some warm air in the mid-levels and that could also drag our snowfall totals down in the east as we talked about. So most of this is going to fall on Sunday. It starts late Saturday night into early Sunday morning. Most of this while we're sleeping and that storm position is going to help determine how much and just what we're going to see. But you're looking at yeah the very high risk areas included in the mountains and western foothills for some heavy wet snow. High risk for the folks in the triad too, but this is the icy areas that we're really worried about. Southern Davidson areas of Randolph County and then up through Alamance County. Here is the big question mark as to how much we'll get in terms of icing on our trees and branches and that could really take our power and trees down too. So two to five inches of snowfall. Still the forecast for Reedsville one to two inches east in Ashboro area. 5 to 8 inches likely in Mount Airy, at least on this current storm track and position. 8 to 12 inches, not out of the question as we get you closer to Sparta, Ennis, and up along the mountains. And then higher totals, about a foot or more possible for some on those high elevations. This is the messy weather that we'd rather not have to contend with, but we have it. About a tenth of an inch of glaze may push all the way back west, even as far north as Surrey County area. You could see a little sleep mix in, but how long does that window stay open for the sleep before it changes back to snow? Significant glaze, about a quarter of an inch in Greensboro, heavy glaze down to the south and east, and that's the area we really worry about with folks being without power, travel concerns for an extended period of time. Your hour by hour forecast, I want to show you this latest high resolution model. This is our model, our IBM model, showing you that we've got those shower chances starting to snow. First, though, on Saturday, this is just a little light wave of energy ahead of it. And the, all of that beginning overnight into your Sunday morning. Here comes that sleet potentially mix snow with some maybe wet snow also and some sleet. Then you've got freezing rain potential as that warmer air aloft. Remember, it's not always the temperatures that you're seeing at the ground. We know that that rain could freeze on contact, and that's why we expect to see some freezing rain potential in the eastern parts of the market. And notice how then it narrows out and it's already changing back to snow. We start to fill in with more snow as that low winds up and lifts out. And so that's where we could see some higher totals for folks back to the west, lower to the east, and a lot of ice down to the south and east. So we'll be watching for this carefully and honing in on the
uh, actual timing and how much of snow and ice you might see. But definitely preparing. You still have another 24 hours. I think it's a good plan.